It is a very good practice that you as a Moodle administrator keep your profile in Moodle updated as early as possible. So in this lesson, we will see how you can update your profile. In Moodle 3.0, the profile page is available primarily through the drop down available at the top of the page. When I open the drop down menu, you can see the profile link. Click on the profile link to go to the profile page. By default, you will enter the page in a view mode that is a read only mode. You can see here various profile items that were created for you when your profile was first created. All users on the system can similarly access the profile page. However, this page will be customized by Moodle according to the role. On the screen, you can see four sections here. User details, reports, miscellaneous and login activity. These four sections will be present for all users. However, how much detail is shown in each will depend upon the role of the user. The first section user details contains fundamental information such as the full name, password, email, etc. There is also an edit profile link which we will use very shortly. Miscellaneous section lets you access your various activities on the system. Login activity shows exactly that, a small snapshot of your login. What is absolutely special for you as an administrator is that you have a set of reports accessible to you, which are not available to other users. For example, you can quickly access detailed logs and other reports. Just a point to note, that this is just a quick access convenience and you can access a more comprehensive reporting section from the site administration block and we will see it in a later lesson. What is not being shown here are the courses that I am a part of in some capacity either as a manager, teacher or a student and that is because courses have not yet been created in this installation. But when it is, they will also appear here on this page. Before we go further, I will show you very quickly how the profile section looks for different roles in different installations. What you have been seeing so far is the clean install of Moodle 3.0. Next, this is a teacher role in Moodle 3.0 development release. Notice some small differences in the section UI. You can see only one report, browser sessions. This basically gives your own login session details. Also, do notice that this professor is teaching two courses as listed here. Okay, now to see a student profile. This is a student profile in version 2.7. And I will also show you one more. This is also a student profile. You can see it is very similar again except for the reports section. Having seen all of this, now let us see how to edit the profile. Let me return back now. I am back on my admin profile page. You will first click on the edit profile link which will put this page into an editing mode. The edit page is divided into a few sections starting from the general section then the user picture, additional names, interests and some optional settings. The general settings are your basic information. A good place to add a brief message or professional accomplishments note on your profile is in the descriptions text box. Note that this text box is fully HTML compliant. And you can even add links to other pages if you like. I have a message ready for users who will view my profile page and I will paste it here. I also urge you to make use of this description field similarly. In the user picture section, you can very conveniently just drag and drop an image from your computer and upload a new image or change an existing image. If you are not comfortable with drag and drop, you can use a file picker like so. 
and now I will click on upload this file. This convenient drag and drop interface is available consistently throughout Moodle at locations that involves uploading a picture. The additional names section is very useful in some contexts. For example, if your institution has a large number of students, the probability of having students and teachers with the same name is high. And so, in this case, you might want to add some additional quantifiers in these fields here. This is also very useful when you have non-English language names in your system. The phonetic name text box can then be put to good use. The interests text box is designed for the users to share more information about themselves. For example, this can potentially help improve social connectivity between students and teachers with similar interests. Finally, the optional section has links to allow all users to connect in several additional optional ways, such as through various external social platforms and also through other details that you might choose to share. You can update as much as details as you would wish to share and finally click on the update profile button. Do not forget to click on the update profile else none of the changes you made are saved. And this is a very frequent pitfall with new users. Now that I am back to my profile, you can see the description has appeared here very beautifully and my profile picture has also changed. It is a great practice to update your profile as early as possible, put up a profile picture, encourage others to do so, and fill in as much information as possible as we have seen in this lesson.